How successful was this conference for Labour and Sir Keir Starmer? Oh, well, it's been a, a 10 out of 10 conference. I mean, they were, uh, <laughs> Labour were gifted. 10 out of 10? Uh, the order of... Well, yeah, because, I mean, I mean nothing went wrong. Apart, I mean, even the protester uh, only, uh, only managed to, uh, to, to, to gain extra headlines for Keir Starmer. And the, the Labour Party um, uh, merchandise department rushed out T-shirts last night uh, with, the, with the banner headline, uh, Sparkle with, with Starmer. Um, I mean, they've turned everything to their advantage. Uh, you know, because they couldn't book the week before the Conservatives, which is what they usually do, uh, they went the week after the Tories, uh, and it's worked out a treat for them. Everything's gone, everything's gone their way. Uh, what about his speech? Uh, I thought uh, it was very much a rah, rah, that rah speech. That almost shut you up there, Kevin. <laughs> It was a rah, rah, rah speech. Uh, you know, I'm on my way to Downing Street. Everything's going to be brilliant with me. I mean, apart from uh, some old stuff about housing and how they were going to build houses on brown fields and not green fields, I don't know what that means. Uh, there wasn't much substance yeah. in it, John. There, there, wasn't, there wasn't even substance in the housing uh, <laughs> stuff because the, uh, the IKEA's uh, spokesperson afterwards... Uh, had a dreadful job explaining how this was a fundamental change, but it wasn't actually going to fundamentally change anything because they weren't <laughs> going to legislate. Um, it was. Uh, it, 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 what's different about the Labour the Labour plan for housing is that they they're going to have a strategic plan. As long as they've got the word strategic in it, they think they they think that's job done. And I'm afraid they're going to find out the hard way that it isn't. Uh, indeed, uh, and they seem to be saying uh, uh, his big message to the people was uh, houses will be built where the people want them, not developers. What on earth does that mean? It's rubbish. Uh, <laughs> I'm afraid it's rubbish. And, it's, and it's, no, it's no different from what the Conservative government is already doing, as Michael Gove has pointed out uh, this morning. Uh, the Labour target of 300,000 uh, houses a year is exactly the same as the government's target. And uh, Labour's not actually proposing to do anything different. I mean, Keir Starmer says, yes, he will ignore local objections. But uh, how that is going to work in practice is, uh, is not clear. So we'll, uh, uh, we'll, we'll mark that one down as doubtful. Uh, doubtful. OK. Uh, James, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, what is your big takeaway for, from this conference? Well, I think the takeaway is that Keir Starmer represents stability, security and competence, as opposed to a Tory government, forgive me for sounding like I'm still a Labour advisor, represents chaos. And, and I think that tonally is what Starmer was seeking to convey and he succeeded in that. So I'd give him a nine out of 10 uh, because he can always do better. But I think um, that message was heard loud and clear by the party, but in the hall and beyond the hall. And I think that's all that, frankly, if he keeps doing that, there is, he has got a chance of winning a majority which seemed un incredibly unlikely he, four or five years ago when Jeremy Corbyn led Labour to the biggest crushing election defeat for nearly 100 years. I would suggest, James, uh, that after 13 years of Tory rule, the country has got Tory fatigue. It's in the mood for change. Uh, and uh, the rise and rise, if you like, of Sir Keir Starmer is not really down to him. He's rising by default because people just want someone diff different. Uh, he's not the charismatic man of the year, is he, old Keir? No, but does it matter? I don't remember, you will remember, well, many of us will remember that Winston Churchill described Clement Attlee as a very modest man with a lot to be modest about. <laughs> it didn't matter, he won by a landslide. I think, I think we've been blessed in our life, or cursed maybe, I don't know, to have some big prime ministerial personalities, Blair, Thatcher, in my lifetime. That's unusual. We're reverting to the norm. And if, if Keir can convey professionalism and, and come across as a, a managerial... Uh, someone who can manage the country well. Well, you said it yourself, Kevin. The country's sick of the Tories. It's fatigued, it's tired, it's fed up. They've got very little to show for 13 years in power. So um, yeah, well, what I would add, why I would give it a 9 out of 10, is that I, I do detect there's the slightest bit of complacency, a, a tiny tad of hubris, and that's dangerous. It's so dangerous because that can infect the party. And, and it can uh, cloud judgments, and I think that has to be stamped out. This majority, that the, or in order for Labour to win a majority, it has to win 130 to 140 seats. That's huge. Let's be honest, this is a huge task 
So no complacency, no hubris, uh, but this was a great conference. And if it's the last conference before an election, it was a brilliant one to go out on for Labour and for Starmer.